it's time to sp spray on that spray tan, strap on your high heels, and get back into the ballroom. Dancing with the Stars is back. Over 24 million people watched the premiere of its 10th season, making it the most watched season premiere since its 2001 spring season. And this year, casting had a major role on viewers. With cute faces such as Olympic gold medal skater Evan Lysak and Jake Pavelka, to more controversial stars such as Pamela Anderson and Kate Goslin. Dancing with the Stars is surely giving American Idol a run for its money. And this past Tuesday was the first elimination of the season. Actress Shannon Daughtery had the least amount of votes and was given the boot. However, viewers have had a lot to say about Kate Goslin. Her attitude on the show has given buzz all around the water cooler. And her quitting fight with dance partner Tony Devolani has made viewers upset and is questioning why she should ever be on the show when she has eight kids to take care of. So Lindsay, what is your view on Kate Goslin? My view is the exact same as the viewers. What is she doing on that show? She has eight children at home. What is she doing there? Mm -hmm. You know, she's got a responsibility as a mother mm -hmm. to look after her children, make sure that they're taken care of. And to me, this just seems like another publicity stunt. Yeah, do you think like the whole um, divorce with John was overshadowing her and she just wanted to try to make it, like, make herself look good? You know, I think that's exactly what it was. There was so much attention and so much uh, views, so many views on, um, on, what's his name again? Sorry. Oh, uh, John. John. Hello, John and Kate. <laughs> yes, there was some, <laughs> there's so much discretion about John and, you know, his whole cheating. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I think maybe she felt overshadowed by his uh, publicity and she wanted to make a name for herself. But I think that by doing Dancing with the Stars, she's going about it all wrong. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lindsay. You can watch Dancing with the Stars Mondays and Tuesdays at 7 p.m. on ABC. Now, here's your Hollywood headlines. Jesse James has entered in a treatment facility. The, act, the husband of actress Sandra Bullock has checked into the facility to deal with personal issues. Jesse James is currently facing infidelity accusations. No comment from a rep has been made. After weeks of speculation, singer Joe Jonas and Demi Lovato have confirmed they are dating. In an interview with Ryan Seacrest, Joe Jonas opened up about his feelings for Demi. The two have been best friends for some time and have decided to take the next step. You can see Demi with all three of the Jonas Brothers in Camp Rock, The Final Jam, airing July 13th on the Disney Channel. Attention Glee fans, you may now audition. That's right, casting directors and producers for the hit Fox series are holding auditions to star in the show. You must be between the ages of 16 to 26 and be able to sing a cappella. Submit your audition tapes to the Glee Auditions MySpace page and see if you can be part of Glee history. Now here's what's at the box office this weekend. Miley Cyrus returns to the big screen in the Nicholas Sparks movie, The Last Song, co-starring her hunky new boyfriend, Liam Hensworth. This romantic movie is surely gonna be a big hit. And for all you action fans out there, Clash of the Titans is hitting the screens today. You can watch it in 3D if available, so make this weekend a movie weekend. That's the buzz in Hollywood. Now I want to turn a, into a different type of entertainment that's being created here at Texas State. Students Phoebe Torres and Andrew Cobb have created a web series titled The College Show. With flyers being posted all around school, this YouTube show has been getting many hits, and today they're in the studio. Phoebe, Andrew, welcome to La Bella Vida. Thanks for having us. Thank you. So I want to start off with what was the whole purpose of the show and how did this idea come about? Well, I think it generated greatly out of boredom. Mm -hmm. We, uh, we had, I had my MacBook and we like to play around on iTunes or iMovie a lot. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we decided to do was make a show that portrayed all the strange things that happen in college that are mm -hmm. completely normal here that would be absolutely bizarre somewhere else. Mm -hmm. what, what made you guys want to focus on just college? College, I think it's such a huge adjustment. We're freshmen, mm -hmm. so this was our first year at college, and it's such a huge adjustment that we needed a way to show our, our new experiences and how we were getting used to them. Yeah, when we came here, we only knew each other, so you know, a lot of our friendship was based on like this common, you know, experience of us coming together and you know, experiencing college for the first time. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to. And what type of issues will be addressed on this on this web series? We like to talk about all the everyday things, laundry, 
Um, I always forget my quarters when I go to do my laundry. Uh, mm -hmm. Taking out the garbage, uh, being locked out of your building, all the normal everyday grievances we have at college. Mm -hmm. And how many episodes will be on your series? We'll have uh, nine episodes. Mm -hmm. uh, and we are finished with most of them right now. We're still in production. Um, we did release our first episode on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And what is what was I know you were posting uh, flyers all around campus. So what was your biggest challenge trying to promote your show? Our biggest challenge trying to promote our show. I think YouTube is huge. Mm -hmm. No one is going to happen upon a show just by chance. And we really just wanted to spread the word to people we didn't know because a lot of our friends are way on board and say, oh yeah, this is a cool thing you're doing. We definitely want to watch it, but getting other people we don't know to watch it is more of a challenge. And since YouTube is so big, you know, a lot of this YouTube phenomenon is happening. Do you, uh, do you think that maybe your show can be, you know, featured on maybe Good Morning America per se or, or one of those, you know, entertainment shows that, oh, kids are making a, a web series, you know? Well, when we first made the show, we never expected it to get too big, but, mm -hmm. uh, it's already bigger than we expected yeah. it to be, actually. We have hundreds of hits right now, and I think we really do want to get as many viewers as possible, mm -hmm. and we'll see where it goes. And what's th what do you think would make, um, a, like, what would di differentiate between other college web series from you all's? What would differentiate? Well, I think some of the unique things about our show are it's greatly silent movie style quite a mm -hmm. bit. We don't do a lot of talking on the show, and they're just short little episodes that are very true to life and true to especially the experience at Texas State. Right. Do you think that kids in our age group, our age demographic, would, would really like, you know, watching these one, I think they're like one minute. One to two minutes. One to yeah. two minutes. Yeah. Do you think that they would enjoy it and would yeah. benefit from it? Out of, the, out of the viewers we've had so far, a, a girl came up to me the other day and said, oh, I've, I've seen your show. And I love it because it's so real. Mm -hmm. It's so what everyone experiences. And it's nice to see other people acknowledging, oh, that's happened to you too. Yeah, and it's they're short episodes, so it's great when you're, you know, you just get on YouTube and you just want something real quick and funny. To and you have a short you attention from studying. span. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a great it's a great way to, you know, get away from the whole studying. Right. Do you are you guys gonna continue this when the fall semester in two thousand and ten comes about? We've discussed it. I don't think we have concrete plans, but I think there will definitely be more videos coming of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. We're, we're not quite sure what direction we're going to go, mm -hmm. but definitely expect more from us. And do you have any guest stars, or is it just you two? Yeah, we, we have quite a few guest stars. We have a, a few of our friends who also will play small roles in the episodes. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, it's just uh, Steve and I mm -hmm. acting in these episodes. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Phoebe and Andrew. And if you want to learn more about The College Show, you can join their Facebook page, um, which is titled The College Show, or check it out on youtube.com slash The College Show. And now for Lindsay and Aaron's Cocina Package.